Well, hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Today is the first day we are at the theatre. Or theatres, should I say. Because the Gilgit and the Sondheim have now been connected so that we all can have dressing rooms in both theatres so that we're all very socially distanced when we're backstage. Which is amazing and I'm fascinated to see what it's like and how it's going to work. I have about 10 minutes before my screening time so I'm going to go grab some food because they prefer us not to leave the theatre. We can, but obviously just kind of for safety reasons they prefer us not to leave the theatre as much as we possibly can. So I'm going to go and get some breakfast and lunch and then a snack for later on because we are in until 10 o'clock today. We're here! Here we go! Come on, Kitty. In you go. Woohoo! Oh, look, there's a mini sink. Welcome home. Oh, you're joking. Oh, my God. And we're back. Oh, my God, it feels like Mission Impossible. We're going the right way, we're going this way. <gasps> yeah, stage, just onto stage. Oh my goodness me. This is intense. Very intense. <laughs> Hello, we are in the theatre. We are on the set, about to have warm up. We are all tested and COVID free. It is nice to be back on a barricade of some kind. I am. Um, this is Ebony, she plays Factory Girl. And this is Charlie, we share a dressing room. This is apparently a seat, I believe. That's my seat. Is that your seat? Okay. Only at the beginning though. Hello, old friend. Out of all the dresses that I had for Fontaine, this one was by far my favourite. So, we are teching. We have started tech. We've got quite uh, a chunk done, quite a big chunk done. I'm gonna put my uh, glasses on. I mean, this lighting is the one. Oh, my glasses are filthy now as well. I need to learn how to do my hair like this because I like this. This is this is a good look. This is the look that I want to have on a day-to-day -day basis. We have got up to my death. Well, I've died. We've got up to the confrontation. Um, but I think I'm gonna be doing some ensemble stuff. Um, for this concert, which will be fun. There's lots of stopping and starting. Tech is, is quite a long process because we have to stop every now and again to make sure the lighting is looking as it should, um, making sure that mics are working as they should and that sound are happy with how we're all sounding and how the mics are all fitting because we have the Britney mics for the concert. And making sure that everyone makes their quick changes, which is always a very nerve wracking thing for an actor, especially if you've got um, not a lot of time to do a full costume change. That's always quite daunting. Um, I'm very pleased that I'm back in my old room, um, but this time there's only two of us in here because they're spreading everyone out across both theatres, across the Gilgood and the Sondheim. It's all being done as safely as possible, which is great. Um, but it means that there's just two of us in this very large dressing room. These are the long days um, where I got here at 10.30 and we finish at 10. Um, so quite long days. Gutted that I'm going to be missing I'm a Celebrity. I will be watching that as soon as I get home tonight. Giovanna is doing so amazingly. Um, she's just... She's just brilliant. She's just great. That's the thing. She's just an amazing human being. And it's so amazing that I'm a Celebrity has kind of given even more of the world um, a chance to see that so yeah won't get home until about half 11 tonight i don't think but that's okay because i'm just thrilled to be here 
I'm just really happy to be sat in a dressing room in front of a dressing room mirror and there was so much that I'd forgotten. Like this morning I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I need to sort out a makeup bag. I need to go to Boots and buy like a new toothbrush and toothpaste and random bits and pieces that I'm usually so prepared for. Like I'm usually so ready with my little dressing room bag, but this kind of, I don't know, it's kind of been sprung on me because I've been describing myself as indifferent to everything at the moment. Cause I feel like I don't want to be doom and gloom about everything about this whole COVID situation because that doesn't do anybody any good. But I'm also quite fearful of being hopeful and getting my hopes up and looking forward to things just in case they do get scuppered as so many things have this year. So coming to the theatre and being back in a dressing room again kind of crept up on me because I've just been taking everything one day at a time. Um, so it's really lovely to be here. I'm now gonna eat my um, very nice salad from Pret. Good old Pret. <laughs> Zero. See you in a bit. Just sat here editing my video and uh, it's so cold that I have resorted to straddling the mini radiator. I think there's like a new ventilation system in the theatre that just makes it quite chilly. So this is necessary right now. It's so bizarre because usually these two pubs are absolutely heaving with people but obviously we live in covid times when the streets are just so empty it's very strange necessary but very strange